So you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In this video, we're gonna be featuring Dolphin Isles. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna share with you a secret passage that only residents of Dolphin Isles have access to. We'll be featuring some homes, show you around to see if it may fit with your budget. Let's get into it right now. Dolphin Isles is a small neighborhood right here in Fort Lauderdale. What's wonderful and unique about it is it's squeezed right between the intercoastal waterway as well as the beach. So you have the ability to own a waterfront property, get on your boat, enjoy the intracoastal, or you can easily walk to the beach. Dolphin Isles primarily consists of people who own their homes, less than a thousand residents, right here at Shooters on the water. And this is a great place where the Fort Lauderdale water taxi does stop. This is Mastro's. It is early in the day, so they are currently closed. It's right next to Shooters. It is a much more upscale place. So this is where you actually can get a steak just for $50 to $100. So make sure to bring your appetite and your wallet. This home features four bedrooms, four bathrooms. It is 2,300 square feet and they are asking for 1.7. Now, as you can see, there are kludges here and it's very luscious landscape, smaller yard. But what's great is that because of these hedges, it gives you the ultimate privacy. We are actually off of one of the main roads here in Dolphin Isles, and you can see these actual condos right here. This is what the neighborhood looks like. Right next to the, this condo, as well as on the other side of this one, you do have Ocean um, Drive, also known as A1A, and technically the beach is right there. On the other side, if you can kind of see the pink and yellow building, right there is the beach. This is the neighbor's home. It's a very old Florida style home. And across the way, you do also have some apartments. My name is Adela Phillipson, and I am a local realtor right here in the greater Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. So if you are thinking about moving here nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. All the information is down below in the description as well as in the comments. Now this home features three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It is 1,754 square feet and they are asking for 3.6 million. Now, let me show you the neighborhood. So right across the street here, you do happen to have a single family home that does actually have a very tall gate. Um, right over here this one happens to be more of a modern very beautiful they actually have artificial turf right here but look at this excellent mansion right here right in front of the home is a beautiful smaller florida style home with these two large trees and then right next door as well you do have a gorgeous white modern looking home beautiful driveway This magnificent waterfront home is located on a point lot. It features four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, two half bathrooms. It actually has 241 feet of water frontage and they are asking for 7 million. It's about 4,800 square feet. Now let me show you the neighbor's homes. So this one happens to be one of the smaller ones at the end of this cul-de-sac. looks like they are getting a new roof. There is a two-story home right next door, right there to the other side of this. You'll notice there is a two-story home right next to it. And then right over here, it does look like they have been uh, upgrading it, remodeling it, but it is a higher ceiling, possibly two-story in the center. I'm not exactly sure of the details, but they also have a point lot. And then this one right next door, it looks like they are also doing some inter interior renovations, but this is a cul-de-sac at the end right 
on the other side of these homes is the Intracoastal Waterway. To give you a better understanding of how close you are to the beach, those buildings right there, the beach is just on the other side. If Fort Lauderdale isn't for you and you want to explore some of the other cities surrounding Fort Lauderdale, I'm going to go ahead and put the link right here so you can enjoy later. So this particular home features four bedrooms, four bathrooms. It is 2,000 square feet and they are asking for 1.5. Now let me show you the neighborhood. So next door you'll actually find a old Florida style home. It looks like they actually have added on behind. Right here across the street is a corner lot. You can see they have a massive gate around it and they actually have the pool in the inside. It's much larger. On just two doors down from that one you have this like Spanish style home with the actual arches. Always give you a good reference point. Those tall buildings right there that is where the beach is. So you, you could live here and a dry have a dry lot property. Just walk down the street that's A1A and get to the beach. So this is it. I am at the end of this street and just right behind me is this gate. Little did you know that if you live here in the neighborhood of Dolphin Isles, you can actually go to the city. Now you will have to show them proof of your address that you do live here, but they will actually give you the code and the fob to get in. Now this is your own private north entry to Birch State Park. You actually have easy access to the actual meditation garden right over here but otherwise if you live anywhere else you will have to go through the main entrance that is located on sunrise boulevard so it's very special to live in dolphin isles and especially if you live on the waterfront you can have your boat you can walk to the beach and you can have your own private access to the state park right here in fort lauderdale if you're not convinced on Dolphin Isles and maybe you want to explore some other neighborhoods here in Fort Lauderdale, I have created videos just for you that you can watch right here. And if you don't want to miss out on anything else, make sure to subscribe. See you later, alligator.